Hey, what's going on guys? Walla here. Today's video is going to be talking about hackers and uh, my opinion and just it's just basically a rant, man, because at this point it's getting pretty damn ridiculous. Uh, for how long has going, been going on now? Like a year and a half, I want to say, where cheaters have literally seen no repercussions at all. Uh, people have been, you know, praising Bungie every now and then. Oh my god, you know, they log on to Destiny, they see the, the fact that they reported someone and the, that it got noted or whatever, like, oh, Bungie took care of a hacker. But in reality, like, it's only happening once every, like, other month or something, right? Someone gets a message, they post it, they're like, yeah, I get fucked, hacker. But, you know, again, hack these hackers are barely getting banned, man. And when they do get banned, they just make another account. I want to show you guys a prime example of what I'm talking about. For those who think that Bungie actually is starting to ban these hackers, please don't be fooled. I was streaming last night. I streamed around uh, nine hours, I want to say. Uh, the gameplay in the background you're going to be watching uh, is going to be against a hacker I've matched all weekend. And I've matched him as well uh, a few months ago. And uh, I want to say like even before then as well. This guy's been playing for a very long time. And what this guy's doing now, and he's, he's doing recovs while cheating. So this guy's going on other people's accounts while cheating. He has his own main account. His name is Vital Signs, whether you know him or not. So on top of the fact that he's going on recovs, he has his main account he's been playing on for so long that it still hasn't been banned. And this is just one of the few hack- many, many hackers I want to say. Sorry, not few. That was stupid of me to say right there. Uh, the reason I'm making this video is because there was a streamer- not a, not a streamer. Someone turned on his stream today, a hacker. Whether this guy normally hacks or not is not up to me to decide. I don't know who this person is, but- uh, I have no hate to this person whatsoever, whether he wants to cheat or not. I don't care if people cheat. It's none of, it's none of my business. I report them. I go about my day. I don't hate the player. I hate the game, all right? It's just, it's, just, it's just how it is, right? If there's a really good anti-cheat and someone, you know, if I match a cheater every now and then in a game that has a really good anti-cheat, yeah, I'll hate the player, man. That's annoying. But for the most part, you can't hate people for cheating anymore because it's like it, Bungie literally lets you do it. And I'll tell you what I'm talking about right now. I'll show you on the screen here. Someone decided to turn his stream on while cheating on Twitch. He was pulling thousands of viewers. He 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 hit a thousand at some point. Uh, I didn't stay to stick around. Uh, I'm pretty sure he was live for almost two hours when I got in there. But apparently he didn't get banned on Twitch. He didn't get banned on Destiny. And he, he just ended his stream. He just got off. He's like, yeah, I think I'm done hacking for the day. Uh, I saved some clips and stuff. I'm going to show you guys as well uh, for, you know, just for some proof if you don't believe me as well. This was ripped free, uh, straight from his stream, as you can see. Clearly legit. Dude, he was playing like this the whole stream. None of his fucking, his name wasn't blurred out. Nothing was blurred out. He was playing like this the whole stream. Four hours straight and he wasn't banned. He ended his stream as if nothing ever happened. What's stopping me from getting on and cheating? No, I, I'm not going to cheat. But in, in all reality, what's stopping someone that doesn't stream from cheating? Why would someone not want to cheat? Why wouldn't someone just get on and start cheating because everyone else is cheating too? What's the repercussion? There's no repercussions. Fuck it. Why not? I mean, why would I want to go in and play against these guys when I could just be using it too, right? This guy was so comfortable streaming. This guy put his face cam on while cheating. Just doesn't give a fuck. He doesn't care because he knows nothing's going to fucking happen, dude. It's so sad. And again, I don't hate this guy at all. I'm, I'm mad at Bungie. Now, obviously, I don't want anyone to cheat, right? I'm not supporting this guy whatsoever. But I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I've gotten so tired of getting mad at the cheaters. I, I just don't. I just can't anymore. Like, I've lost all hate towards them. And it's all just going to Bungie now because in reality... A year and a half, almost two years, and nothing's been done? Like, come on, dude, really? Uh, uh, like, a, like a, w what was added so far? Like, you have to have a phone number to play Trials now that you could literally keep using on different accounts, apparently? Uh, that might be not be true, again, but re in reality is the phone number thing isn't helping whatsoever. And what were they expecting? I mean, come on. Right now, you can go into Trials or whatever it may be, any game mode, any patrol, whatever it is, and you can go and spam unlimited rockets and the game can't detect the fact that you're cheating. It's so crazy how the game... How, how does the game not detect that you're shooting a million rockets every millisecond? I just... I don't understand. There are a lot of things wrong. Just the fact that there's literally zero anti-cheat whatsoever. I know people th think that there might be... But how how does a game not detect that you're shooting a million rockets every millisecond? I don't under I don't understand that. I don't know what type of anti cheat, what type of anti cheat like some six year old typed up, but like it's not working whatsoever. It just doesn't exist. I learned how to code for like three months, and I think I could code something better than what the fuck we have now because at least it would be something. 
The fact that there's cheaters in this game and the fact that there are people doing recoves, I know people think recoves are the spawn of the devil. I don't really give a shit, but I, I'm just I'm just saying this. The reason why Trials is dead is because Bungie. That's it. It's Bungie's fault. It's Bungie's fault the game isn't fun for people to play. It's Bungie's fault there are cheaters in the game. It's Bungie's fault there are recoves in the game. It's Bungie's fault for everything. Regardless of if you, if you honestly think people doing recoves is what's killing the game, then I, I, I don't know. You, you just should click off the video. I know this is somewhat off topic, kind of, but... Um, I, I had a lot of arguments in chat yesterday. Not really a lot of arguments, just people coming in like saying, oh, wow, you know, you're doing recubs, you're killing trials. No, Bungie's fucking killing trials with stasis, people hating fucking stasis, people hating the fact that people are always cheating almost every single game. You look at a game like Warzone, there are people cheating, yeah, but it's not killing Warzone because Warzone is a fun game. That's the reason why it's not dead. The re... Cheaters aren't killing, isn't killing trials, right? Like, I, I need people to understand that it's Bungie that's killing trials. It's Bungie's fault. Straight up. That's all it is, man. That's how it goes. I need to be more clear here because I don't want people to think that that I think sh cheating should stay in the game because obviously I don't think like that whatsoever. I want to say that it's Bungie's fault uh, trials is dying because there's no anti-cheat for over almost two years now, right? That's why it's dying. Cheating is killing it, yes, but it's not the cheater's fault. It's it's Bungie's fault for not adding an anti-cheat for two years. That's what I that's what I mean when I say it's Bungie's fault. I don't want people to get it twisted and think I think uh, and think that I want cheating in the game. For someone to be so childish and point fingers at others that are actually playing the game legitly, I do recoves. Whether you like it or not, that's just how it goes, man. There's nothing else to do. That's just what I do. I do recoves. And for people to come and point fingers at me for killing trial, really? If I were not to get on one day, if I just stopped playing... De oh, Walla's not playing Destiny today? He's not doing recoves? Oh, time to play some trout. No, no one fucking says that, dude. It's not... It's it's just... Uh, again, I, I, I'm i getting off topic. But I just, I just wanted to put this in the video as well. Because holy shit, man. People are fucking stupid. Last night I was streaming. I had about 700 to 800 viewers. Thank you guys so much, by the way, for stopping by. Like always. Uh, but I was streaming on Twitch. I had around 700, 800 viewers. And someone came in my chat and told me, he's like, hey, do you know how many people are playing Trials right now? I said, no. Like, I'm, I'm curious how many. He said 500 people on Steam. It was around, I want to say, like 4 a.m., 5 a.m. I know the population is at its lowest at that time. But still... 500 people for a game like Destiny that's supposed to be really popular, especially on Steam. I know it's only one game mode, but I think Gambit had more players at the time than Trials. That's how bad it's getting, and that's how much, that's how little people want to play, right? It's just, I, I don't know, it's getting to, Bungie needs to do something, and it's just so stupid to say that. I laugh when I say this because it's just such a forehead thing to say, Bungie needs to do something. Like, yeah. Bungie needs to fucking wake up, man. And people need to wake up too and realize like it's not it's no one's fault except for them, right? Uh I just I'm waiting for some sort of anti cheat again. I thought it was gonna come when Stasis came out, but haha, get fucking baited. Gonna wait another year or something. I know console's getting DDoS protection, and at this point, man, um I don't think I'd ever recommend PC to anybody that plays Destiny. I would definitely recommend just sticking on console. The only reason I'm playing on PC is because of mouse and keyboard support and also the crosshair placement. That's it. If there was mouse and keyboard support on console Destiny, I'm pretty sure I'd be playing console Destiny. I'm not joking. Uh, that's how bad it is right now. Uh, it's, it's very, very sad, again, seeing the game I play just go, go to shit like this, man. It's just it's really unfortunate. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to rant because why the fuck not? I see no one talking about it. I just wanted to give my opinions on stuff because, um, I don't know. I, I, I have a bigger audience now and I just want to share my opinions and I, I hope I can kind of show you guys what I'm thinking because, uh, it's getting pretty tiring, man. And, uh, it's, it, it looks like everyone else is pretty tired of it too, man. 500 people is, uh, is a big yikes, at least for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see next. Uh, and yeah, I love you all. Bye.